Ladies and gentlemen on the Shred Gaming Intercom video, let us discuss recent discussions that Frostbite's technical director, Johan Anderson, as well as Naughty Dog's Court has had on Twitter. And these discuss discussions, I'm sorry, range from the PlayStation 4's API versus Mantle, as well as a little bit of insight on the PS3's SPU versus the PS4's ACE processors. Now, I've also done this as an article because I've referenced several things in this very video. And if you're not too sure about them and you need more information, well, by golly gosh, there's links there so you can check them out and you can get all the information that you're probably ever going to want. So, I'm sure many of you have heard of AMD's Mantle, which of course is a low-level API, that's Application Programming Interface. The basic purpose here is that you've got low-level access to the GPU, though. This is obviously for the PC. And OpenGL, as well as DirectX 12, are promising to do the same thing, very similar anyway. And they're apparently going to be announced formally in GDC 2014, in just a few days' time now, actually. Someone was asking on Twitter, Johan Anderson, regarding Mantle, and he said that the PlayStation 4's graphics API is good as well. They don't need Mantle on the PS4. Now, the PlayStation 4 does utilize the PSSL, which is the PlayStation Shader Language, which is an API, which has heavily been evolved from the PS3. If you want more information on that, you can check the article out, and I've got a video, and I really do need to do the second part of this, but still, there's a lot of information, there's about 30 odd minutes, so you're going to certainly know quite a lot of stuff regarding uh, the PlayStation Shader language by the time you finish watching that, should you so desire. So of course, the PS4's compute potential has been well known, um, which is utilizing GP GPU, in other words, general purpose computing done on the graphics card. That's not, in other words, CPU. So that's going to be used for things such as AI, physics, and so on. And another reason behind this, of course, or, or rather behind the design of the humor or heterogeneous unified memory architecture. So back in the days of the PS3, a lot of these effects could be actually achieved using the PS3's cell processor. More to the point, the SPU, Synergistic Processing Units. Um, and the PS, uh, the cell actually contained multiple of these SPUs. And the purpose behind them was that they could do many of the same type of tasks. They were actually very powerful in their own right. Their, their T-flop potential was, or their G-flop potential was actually pretty high. And Johan Anderson was discussing this with others. Um, and one user said the compute rings of SI could be the same kind of thing. And Christopho uh, Riccio uh, said, uh, that was what he said. And um, Court from Naughty Dog responded, to a certain type of programmer, SPUs are raw delight in silicon form. We miss them. We ache for them. Now, Johan responded to this and said, won't be the same as the SPUs, but ACE is something at least. Now, in case you're not too familiar with what ACE is, they are the synchronous compute engines on the PS4's GPU, and they're basically responsible for handling and queuing the compute commands to the GPU. Once again, there's an article that's linked, which is going to give you a lot more information on that, rather than me going over old ground. Now, it's important to note that they're not... It's important to note that they're not referring to the actual performance of the ACES or even the usability. In fact, they're more referring to how you could low-level optimize the code so well and efficiently on the PS3 if you did know what you were doing. However, unfortunately, of course, it did require a lot of skill and a lot of knowledge on the hardware and exactly how this could be achieved. And indeed... I've linked to another article inside this which discusses the PS4, which takes you into Naughty Dog's Sinfo um, conference. Or should I say presentation? It wasn't really a conference, it was a presentation. And they gave a lot of in depth information regarding the PS4's CPU um, structure, uh, the GPU, memory, and a lot more besides. It's actually quite interesting, so you should check that out if you so desire, if you've not already seen it. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this particular video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.